Hello and welcome to this Oracle Apex tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use JavaScript to implement real-time validation for your forms using the Oracle EMP table. Specifically, we'll ensure that an employee ID is entered before users can fill in other fields on the form. This is a great way to guide user input and prevent data entry errors, especially when dealing with critical data like employee records. We'll be using a simple yet effective JavaScript code snippet that checks if the employee ID field is filled out. If it's not, an alert will appear, and users won't be able to proceed until it's completed. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand how to implement this validation in your Oracle Apex applications but also how to customize it for your specific requirements. So, let's dive in and get started. We have an employee form. The first field is named a name. Our validation will be such that if no data is entered in the Ename field and the user tries to move to another field, an alert will appear. Go to the page in Oracle Apex. Navigate to Function and Global Variable Declaration. In the Page Designer, find the JavaScript section. Click on Function and Global Variable Declaration. Add the following JavaScript code. This JavaScript code is designed for use within Oracle Apex to validate user input and ensure certain fields are filled before proceeding. It includes two main functionalities. Validation of the P2 underscore name field, it checks whether the P2 underscore name field, employee name, is filled before allowing the user to move forward. Automatic focus control, it ensures that the focus remains on P2 underscore name if it's empty when the user tries to interact with other specified fields. Purpose, this function checks if the P2 underscore name field is filled. If it's empty, an alert message is shown to the user. How it works. It uses the $V function to get the value of the P2 underscore name field. If the field is empty, a name, it displays a warning alert using apex.message.alert with a custom title, required field, and a warning icon. If the validation fails, i.e., the field is empty, the function returns false. If the field has a value, the function returns true. For more detailed information, a video link is provided below. Now I will save and run the code. I clicked on the job field, and I see an alert message because there is no data in my name field. If I enter data in the name field and then click on the job field, no alert will appear. For example, if I enter Smith and then go to the job field, no error appears. Thank you for watching.